G'day everyone, welcome to another video from Sweeney's Creek Farm. Bomber Steve here. Uh, haven't done a bee video for a while, and a lady here in a local suburb near where I live has asked me to come and collect a bee swarm which has formed in her tree. Where do these honeybees come from? Being a feral, non-native animal, they're either in managed hives like we have on Sweeney's Creek Farm, or unfortunately, we have wild hives or feral hives out in the uh, out in the forest. And being a feral animal, they're not part of the ecosystem, and um, we need to collect them, which is why we come and uh, grab them and put them into managed hives. We try to keep them out of the ecosystem because they take over possum hollows and uh, parrot um, homes as well. So, um, yeah it's certainly something that we uh we want to try and avoid so i'm going to get this wild free floating swarm into my own uh managed hive and uh keep them under control and also hopefully collect some honey from them let's have a look as you can see here they are all formed up on a branch so somewhere in the center of that mass of bees is the queen bee and uh she's just sitting there and having a bit of a rest she's probably been flying most of the day formed up here this afternoon obviously uh, a bit tuckered out and uh, needs a bit of a rest so while she's resting her entourage of um, attendant bees will surround her and protect her and she will have scouts out looking for a new home those scouts will come back and either convey to her with their chemical um, communications that uh, there's nothing around and then if that's the case they'll fly off in a, in a direction the queen will pick and uh, then they'll go and see if they can find another place but anyway i'm going to get a box just underneath there and uh, give these guys a shake and see if i can get them in so long as i get the queen in the box the rest will follow and once she's in that box she'll be happy because it's uh it's going to be a nice little home and i've already got some uh, comb in there some uh, drawn out um, frames that I've already spun the honey out so they're going to be very very happy in there but um, I'm just having a look I'm just wondering how I'm going to shake this branch but ah let's give it a go So everyone, we've just dropped them in, and um, now it's just a matter of just waiting, we'll let them settle themselves in, I'll get these frames back in, and we're just hoping that Queenie's in there, so I'm just going to keep an eye on how they behave from now. Let's get this frame in. I've got probably about 95% of the bees in there. I only need that one in there, I just need Queenie. I'm just starting to see them now. 
I've been smoking and shaking that branch. There's a few sort of gathering up there. But I'm now starting to see them make their way along and down into the into the frames and some going in the front door there. So uh, there's possible a little bit of queen pheromone up there that she might have dropped when she landed. Um, but by smoking that I'm trying, trying to sort of get rid of that. And um, as you can see, they're now starting to crawl in. And the other thing I'm liking to seeing is those bees with their head down and their bum up in the air and they're fanning their wings. So they're spreading a signal to say, uh, hey, uh, new home, which is a, a great sign to see. And just seeing them all packed down into there. Um, tend to leave the top open for a little while just to give more of an entrance in. Um, but eventually I'll just smoke that and uh, close it up and then they'll start all going in through the front door. And uh, yeah, up here, a lot less than what we had. So there we go. That is how we catch a swarm. So all I'm going to do now is just wait for these guys to settle down a little bit. I'll smoke them in. I'll close the lid up and I'll leave it for a couple of hours and I'll come back a little bit later when the sun is just about down. It's just on dark and uh, they'll all be in there. The amazing thing about bees is those little girls are in there working already. They're already starting to clean the comb. Um, they'd be very excited to have found honeycomb in there um, all ready to go. So workers want to work and they'll be in there getting stuck into it already, which would be great. And um, the queen will be able to uh, get into her role of laying eggs a lot quicker because they don't need to build that comb. But uh, that's been a very successful catch yet again. Well, there you go guys, mission complete. Um, all the bees are all stacking around now. They're uh, piling in through the entrance. Uh, sure sign that I've got the one bee that I need, the queen bee. Everyone's very happily going in there and that's another hive added to Sweeney's Creek Farm. And another feral hive taken out of the ecosystem before it impacts on native animals, um, which warms my heart. Anyway, thanks for being here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. We're really pleased with the growth and, uh, and all of our family growing uh, here on the channel. Um, it really warms our heart and we thank each and every one of you. But, uh, for now, this is Bomber Steve and we'll see you on the next one.